It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, and you ain't black, and you ain't black. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Yep. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. We're out here today in beautiful Florida. It's a beautiful 70 degree day. Not a single cloud in the sky, sunny, warm. And uh, I wanted to shoot a video for you guys to support our President Donald J. Trump. That's right. And today we're out here with the classic Trump 2024 flag. Check it out. I like this guy. I'm with you, man. You like that flag, right? Uh, well, I Beautiful. And uh, I'm trying to, man. And in honor of Black History Month, today we're going to be doing a video where we're going to ask people if they're going to vote for Trump or Biden. If their answer is Trump, then they're not black. If their answer is Biden, then they're black. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. So let's see what happens. <laughs> That's what he said. Remember Joe Biden said that? He said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. The whitest guy I've ever said. Yeah, the whitest guy was telling black people if they're black or not. That's right. So anyway, guys, we're going to have a good video today. If you want to support my channel, givesango.com slash Adam Francisco. You guys know I'm battling one of the worst diseases known to man. So your support means the world to me. And I appreciate you guys. All right, let's get into the video. So we have an election coming up. Who do you plan on voting for, Trump or Biden? Well, Trump, there's no question in that. So then you're not black. Well, obviously. Yeah. Not so, well, Joe Biden case. said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. Yeah. And you're not black. Yeah. So it makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, I'm de I defaulted. <laughs> I ask you a question. Who's more racist, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Well, Joe Biden. Yeah. Can you can you give me one example of his uh, abject racism? Um. Well, I mean, there's many. Uh, first comes to mind is uh, he didn't want his kids to go to school in the concrete jungle. No, no, no. It was worse. He said racial jungle. The racial concrete jungle. That's right. That's a good one, man. Yeah. Wow, that Joe Biden did say that. He said in the 1980s, he did not want his kids going into a racial jungle. I don't think you can get more racist than that. What a racist man. All right, brother. Well, God bless Trump. Hey, good luck, man. Thank you, man. Well, my question to you is, we have an election coming up in about 10 months. Yeah. It's Trump versus Biden again. Trump all the way. All right, so, so I was gonna times. ask, who are you gonna vote for? You said Trump? Yeah. So then you're not black. Of course not. Because Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, yeah. you're not black. Biden's stupid. Let me ask you another He's question. He's a dumbass. Which Sorry. president is more racist, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Biden, of course, yeah. And can you give me one example of Joe Biden's racism that, that comes to mind? Uh, because he keeps talking about race. Yeah. You don't need to talk about race. Right. Okay, I mean, just drop the racism word. You know, you know? Morgan Freeman said, if we stop talking about it, it'll go away. Exactly. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're gonna relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you moment. do with yours? What, which month is life history month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month is Jewish history month? No, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no. No, I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a black history month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism on Stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You want to say, well, I know this white guy named Mike Wallace. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But the Democrats Nobody's keep racist. reviving racism he keeps, from he the death. He keeps death. dividing people. Mm. I mean, my whole family is for Trump. God bless you. Everywhere I live, it's Trump, Trump, Trump. True patriots. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. And God bless Trump. So that's the plan today, guys. We're going to ask people who they're voting for, Trump versus Biden. And if they're voting for Trump, they ain't black. If they're voting for Biden, then they're black. This is Joe Biden's logic. I didn't make this up, guys. I did not make this up. Joe Biden came with these rules, all right? So we have one of the most important elections of our lifetime coming up. Now, I know you're too young to vote right now, but it's going to be between Trump and Biden. Who would you vote for? Uh, probably Trump. Yo, God bless you. Why do you like Trump? Because he makes a lot of good speeches and arguments. And he's pretty funny too, right? Yes. Yeah. So it is Black History Month, and because you're voting for Donald Trump, this means that you're not black. Yes. Do you know why I say that? 
Why? Because last election, Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. And you ain't black. I got a question for you. The last election, Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. So I was wondering who you're going to vote for next, next in 2024. Uh, uh, no comment. I'm just being a peaceful protester, you know? Huh? I'm just being a peaceful protester. Against what? Just protesting on behalf of Donald Trump. I want him to come back and win. Well, I don't. Well, he did so much for our country. He restored honor and dignity to the White House. He closed the border. He defended our military, our police. He made America great again. He's going to do it again. Trump's coming back. Get used to saying my President Trump again. You only got another four more years. You see, if Joe Biden didn't steal and rig the 2020 election, the Trump era would be coming to an end right now. But because they stole the election, we get another five years, basically, from today. It's a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. I'm almost happy the Democrats rigged and stole the 2020 election. I'm almost happy about it. Let me ask you guys a quick question. Um, do you know who you're going to vote for next election, Trump or Biden? Uh, I don't I don't I, really. I can't vote. Yeah. Why can't you vote? Oh, I'm a felon. I'm a felon. But yeah. you served your sentence, right? Yeah. So you should be able to vote, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe in your opinion, but I don't think they're going to let me, though. That's messed up. <laughs> All right, if you could vote, though, who would you vote for? Uh, I don't know. Either one, they're both retarded, so I don't know. But if you had to choose one, if you had to choose one. Um, I don't, I don't know. I guess Biden. I don't like Trump. For so sure. then you're black. Well, I'm already dark, so yeah, basically. Yeah, because remember last election, Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. <laughs> so if you're voting for Biden, that must mean that you're black. Oh, I guess so. So I wanted to wish you happy Black History Month. <laughs> Thank you. Since you're apparently black. And what's your answer? Uh, I, I don't have one. I, I don't have one. <laughs> well, I'm voting for Trump, so that means I'm not black. So it's not my month. I've got a question for you guys. Are you going to vote for Trump or Biden next election? Oh, God, yeah. So then you guys are not, so then you guys are not black. Mike. So I can't wish you happy Black History Month. Remember Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. So you're not black. So what, I'm just going by what Joe Biden said. He made the rules, not me. So we're only gonna wish uh, happy Black History Month to the Biden voters today. Cause Joe Biden said, they're black if you vote for Joe Biden. Who do you plan on voting for next election, Trump or Biden? Trump, of course. Let me shake your hand. <laughs> but you know what that means though? That means that you're not black. <laughs> Cause Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. Remember that? Joe Biden sleeps too much too. That's right, he's very sleepy. Joe Biden needs a rest. He needs a long shiatsu Swedish deep tissue massage so that he can relax and have a good nap and wake up recharged and energized. That's what Joe Biden needs to stop being so sleepy and disoriented. You know he's not going back to the White House, he's going to the big house in an orange suit. Oh, is that is that the case? You don't think it's political persecution? I just got flipped off by the more abundantly obese man who I couldn't put on camera because he was off the camera. But uh, he thinks Trump's going to jail. These people are crazy. Who are you guys going to vote for, Trump or Joe Biden, next election? Trump. Trump. I'm and a, then, then you guys are not black. I'm, so I can't wish you happy Black History Month. I'm Latino. Are you Latino? I'm, I'm Latino, but I'm not black either because remember what Joe Biden said. If you vote for Trump, you ain't black. You guys are on the Trump train? Huh? You're on the Trump train? Uh, not the politics. But you look like you'd be a Trump voter, to be honest. You're very masculine. It's a compliment. Masculine men usually vote for Trump. Feminine men usually vote for Joe Biden. It's true. Fact check me. It's true. It's absolutely true. How you doing? You know my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Out of Francisco. Out of Francisco. Let me, let me ask you a question. Who do you plan on voting for, Trump or Biden? Trump. So All then, the way, man. So then you're not black. I'm not black. Because Joe Biden <laughs> that, said that, last that. election, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. So I'm That's not right. going to wish you happy Black History Month because you're because you're not black. <laughs> no. All right, Adam Francis. Yeah. I've seen your stuff, man. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah I'm Good a big Trump. You. I'm a big Trump guy. Hell yeah, man. All right, man. I appreciate How that. How you doing, brother? Keep Adam Francis. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, just I go around Florida with my flag and I do videos. I, yeah, you know, a... it's the most beautiful flag, second to the American flag. The most beautiful yeah. flag, second to the I American have flag. One. Thank you. Because you're, you're a patriot, that's why. That's right. You're not a communist. I am brave. Not a communist. Brave. How you doing? Good. Just having a good time being a peaceful protester. I'm not burning, looting, or murdering. If I was a Democrat, I'd be very violent right now. But I'm just a peaceful, happy guy. Guys, always 
take your Trump flags when you go out and just support him, all right? Every day is a beautiful day, rain, shine, it doesn't matter. Bring your Trump flags out, peacefully and patriotically stand to support your next president, Donald J. Trump, all right? Come on, guys, we can do this together. If I'm out here terminally ill doing this, you could do this. How you doing, brother? Thank you. Your hair looks like Trump a little bit. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Just peacefully protesting. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm a peaceful Republican. No, please sit down. Enjoy. Take a rest, you know? Yeah, take a load off. Enjoy. Quick question for you. It looks like a Trump Biden rematch. Who are you going to vote for? Not Trump. Not Trump. So that means you're black. Happy Black History Month. You know? Well, that's Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. Which means if you vote for Biden, you are black. So happy Black History Month. It's your month. So guys, this is my first time in this place, St. John's Pass, I believe. And uh, seems like a pretty cool spot. There's like, it's just John, not St. Did I just make up a name? All right, guys, apparently it's called John's Pass, not St. John's Pass. I don't know why I made it extra religious. But we're at John's Pass, and uh, it's a pretty cool spot. They got, like, Cuban cigar bars, a lot of T-shirt shops where you can buy, like, you know, nice designs and things, bars, live music. So if you're in the area, definitely recommend coming and check this place out. And uh, so far, a lot of the businesses have been very patriotic. So... Yeah, so yeah, it seems like everybody here is big Trump supporters. See, if you're a person of common sense, you're a Trump supporter. If you're a person based on emotions and just illogical thoughts, then you are a Democrat. I've been to public school 42 years, and I would not want my kids to see and hear the behavior of that man. Oh, of Donald J. Trump? But you got to do it over here. You got to do it over here. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys Trump supporters? I am. Yeah, we, yeah, we are. Oh, God bless you. Why? Can I ask why? Because we have common sense. Yeah, because our world is so much better. Exactly. No war, strong economy, closed border. Oh, why are you going to pull tighter? I'll try my best. Okay. The economy is strong now. No, it's not. Not when you factor in inflation. Thank you. Not when, not when you factor in uh, inflation, prices with everything. It's not down. It's still up big time. Trump had it sub 2% four years in a row, even with the, even with COVID. My name is Adam Francisco, by the way, on YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's artificially propped up by federal government job data right now. That's what's actually happening because people are living paycheck to paycheck. 70% of Americans can't afford a um, medical emergency right now. 70% of Americans can't afford a $500 bill right now. It'll bankrupt them. That was not like that with Trump. With Trump, we all had money. Inflation was down. Everybody felt richer. We were richer. All the lockdowns with COVID destroyed our economy. And that was mostly blue cities and states. You know, red states. What about, what about the character of the man and all these indictments? Doesn't that come Well, the something? indictments are easily dismissed as political persecution. This is Joe Biden targeting his political opponents, trying to remove him from the chessboard, which to me is what happens in communist countries. A lot of these cases were from like 2006, for example, to Stormy Daniels. Why wait till the year of the election here? It's to interfere with him, drain his resources and keep him distracted off the campaign trail. They should have brought these charges up at any other time. It's suspicious. Even you have to admit it's suspicious the timing. In election year, come on. Come on, you bring it up election year? And then January 6th, why not bring it up in 2021 or 2022 oh, or 2023? The, why wait till election year? The hearings were a long time ago. Yeah, but those hearings were all one-sided. That was all Democrats and there was not a single voice in that courtroom that was on the opposite side. There's not the, a single voice. The two of the people that were running the hearings were Republicans. Yeah, don't Liz talk about Liz Cheney, Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. And those are those are those are Democrats that just put the R in front of their names. Come on, we know that. Come on, we know that. That's why Liz Cheney got beat in her primary by the largest margin ever. She lost by I think 50 points or something. Is this a Yorkie? Yeah, it's a Yorkie. Ah. You know all the polls have them up in the swing states right now, the six key swing states. Mm -hmm. You know that? Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Michigan. He's up in all six right now. Because remember, we have electoral college. 
It doesn't matter if... Do you have kids? No. No. Nieces or nephews? I have nephews. So how, how would you, as they get older, how would you explain to them the way Trump makes fun of people all the time? Well, as I'm a New Yorker, so my tolerance I for... <laughs> yeah, I'm a New Yorker. So my tolerance for dirty mouthed people is very, very high. I don't get offended by but someone the, saying dirty things. The, the president of the United States. I'll be honest with you. If Trump had a dirty mouth and our economy was bad and our border was open and we had all these wars going on, then I'd say there was a problem with Trump. But when we had Trump, I'll take a dirty mouthed man when I feel safer, when I feel more secure, when I feel richer. All that other stuff to me is just nonsense. All that stuff is nonsense. We had no new wars under Donald Trump, and now we have two and a half wars that are going on. You know, we all know that Israel not, would not have been invaded if Trump was president. We all know that Ukraine would not have been invaded if Trump was president. We all know that Jordan wouldn't have killed three Americans last week if Trump was president. So does someone train you to go out and do this? No, I do this on my own, my own accord. I don't get paid for it. I do this out of my own heart. Where's your man at? Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the boyfriend. Oh, so, okay. I'm... She's dating a Trump supporter now. Okay. Can you believe it? Yeah. Never in a million years. She likes her men masculine, she said. She said she wants a strong Latino alpha male. I used to be a liberal for uh, 37 years. What happened? I was a Democrat liberal. I woke up. I realized how insane the left has gone. You know, your party's the one that says men can get pregnant. Your party's the one that says men can have periods. Your party's the one what that says no human you? is illegal. These are Democrat platforms. No, no. Yeah. No, your party is the no, one that supports no. young minors getting mutilated for gender affirming surgery. That's your party. 3,000 minors have been uh, experimented can you, on. Can you just take it down a notch? You got me going right no, now. Man, I, I had care. that coffee. I shouldn't have had that coffee. <laughs> your party <laughs> is the one that's all about open borders. No, we are not. Your party is about universal basic income care. Your party is the one that's giving health insurance to illegal immigrants. Your party is the one that's incentivizing illegal immigrants to come into our country. You know what? You know what? Eight million illegal immigrants have entered our country. You know what? In the past three years, eight million. It's a big problem, and now they have a bipartisan bill that Trump yeah. is telling them not to pass. Yeah, because you know why they stuff they stuff things because they stuff other things in those bills. This is what this is what so they do. They ready? This is by the way. This is not just Republicans or Democrats. Both parties do this. They'll name a bill something like don't kill cats, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone goes, that's a great bill, don't kill cats. But in that bill, 10% of funding goes towards not killing cats. And then 90% goes towards Ukraine, Israel, all this other nonsense, gender studies in you know, Pakistan. And then, when, and then when they reject the bill, don't kill cats, the other party goes, they just rejected our bill, don't kill cats. Oh, they must want to kill cats. You're very well spoken. I, I wish you were a Democrat. I used to be. <laughs> you guys lost me in 2020. With your COVID mandates and the vaccine mandates and the BLM riots, if you guys did not do BLM riots and the COVID mandates, I would have stayed. I would have stayed as a Democrat probably. Trying to leave on a high note here. Yeah. Let me do that, okay? God bless you. Thank you. We're still Americans. We had a nice conversation. It was polite. It was. It's what I do. It's what I do. I just made John's pass Trump country, that's right. You're in Trump country right now. That's why we have peace and law and order down here. If this was a Biden run city, you'd have violence, homelessness, you'd have assaults happening every other second, you'd be being pushed to the train tracks. That's right. Democrat run cities are hellscapes. Republican run cities are peaceful and pleasant. You don't have to worry about getting robbed down here because we have Republican leadership. Criminals actually get arrested down here in Florida. Criminals actually go to jail in Florida. Not like New York and LA. These people commit a thousand crimes and they keep getting let out and put back on the street and they commit more crimes. And the cycle continues. Am I right? I'm just trying to speak truth right now. I'm on John's path speaking the truth. No communists down here. We're anti communists That's right, freedom guys. Enjoy the freedom. I like your flag. Thank you. Enjoy the smell of fresh air and Republican freedom. That's right. Nothing oh. smells better than a Republican man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Republican <laughs> men have a musket aura that's irreplaceable. <laughs> Democrats smell like raw sewage. <laughs> Democrats smell, smell like rats in a New York City subway. Festering. Festering. All right, so some bad news, guys. I left my batteries in the car. So that is going to sadly end the video today. I was just about to get amped up and do more, as you guys saw. 
and uh, unfortunately my batteries were in the car and it's a bit of a walk back so it's gonna wrap it up today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like comment share subscribe click the bell to get notified even though it doesn't work double check that you're subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing people from my channel for the past couple years apparently I keep getting reports that a lot of you guys subscribe and then un get unsubscribed so just make sure you're subscribed and uh, again if you want to support my battle against kidney failure give sengo.com slash Adam Francisco I appreciate all your support and as always God bless Trump <laughs>